every year. Artisanal and local miners lose their lives as a result of abandoned mining pits and improper mining activities. However, despite the risk involved, mining still remains a lucrative venture and one of the major sectors that attracts both domestic and foreign investors. In a renewed effort to minimize the risk and further explore its benefits among local miners and mining industries, Rich Flood Minerals has organized a stakeholders' engagement in Kano on responsible mining, solutions, standards and regulations. We have to engage with stakeholders at different levels, from the lowest level being the community level, most especially the host communities where this mining activity takes place, and then the state level, very, very important. We can't do away with the states and their roles, the key roles that they play, because it's their immediate environment, and then also the federal level. So there are different layers of stakeholders that needs to be engaged with when it has to do with the social component of sustainability. When you are talking about responsible mining, both in, uh, internationally, we are talking about you leaving the host communities better off than the way you have met them. If you have collected their houses, maybe you have to do what we call a resettlement action plan, whereby you have to resettle them in a different environment, better off than where they were before. So what it has been done today is, in a way, complementing the efforts of the Ministry of Mines in uh, knowledge uh, dissemination to the, to the public, especially to miners. So one of the ways to move Nigerian mining forward is to appropriate yourself with the law, get to know about the law, get to know about mining and the requirements of mining, the do's and the don'ts of mining, and then, you know, how we can improve Nigeria in terms of mining activities to a global standard. The capacity building anchored on the three sustainability pillars of economic, environment and social benefits aimed to further sensitize the participants on the ethical ways of doing their business. In Kano, our world salutes to NTA News.